All right, guys, welcome to the podcast outside. My name is Joseph Rogers, and with me I have my guests Roger Lazola. Hey, how are you? Allison Rose. Hey. And uh, we are here to talk about. You should have plenty of slack. I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Um, Yeah, we're here to talk about comedy, comedy events. And most importantly, the Dope Show coming up at the Roxy Theater on Saturday, October 22nd. The official Where, retirement party for Roger Lazola from well, the Dope Show. I might I might not technically retire because I retired one, I like Michael Jordan. I'm coming out of retirement and I'm going to I'm going to bring the Bulls a championship again, but I am facing my fear because I got a little scared last time. I know you're not going to die, but it was uh, it was to that point where I was having anxiety on stage and everybody's looking at me and no one was laughing and I was like, all right, and I couldn't think of anything to say. Like That's words weird. weren't coming out of my mouth. That's weird. No one was laughing because people paid tickets to, to laugh at people fail. I think it's yeah. very um, brave of you to be oh. facing your fears like this. Thank you. It's respectful for sure. I I'll, respect it. Well, you're not going to die. I'm not going to die. But you can't die from the weed. You feel like it. You can make a poor life decision after smoking it that might result in your untimely death, but you <laughs> won't STD OD. But it's going to go away in like, what, an hour or two hours? Like three, three hours. Well, with the weed you get. Well, the weed I get, I'm going to give you some half-ass shit. So if it's Joe not makes no, you mushrooms give me the in thing. it, then you're fucked. You give me the stuff. I'm going to give you the real shit. The I'm going to participate. 30%? Okay. Um, no, no, we're not fucking. Let's not go Joey Diaz, all right? <laughs> let's fucking keep it like a regular human being. It's like a regular doobie with a regular human being. Okay. And uh, no, I'm not going to eat the weed. It's and no I'm not going to do any um, fungus. Hey, okay. maybe. I, I don't know. Can I give you some perspective? Yes, ma'am. At least you don't pee your pants when you're stoned. Pee your pants when you have it's to pee. It's not technically called pee your pants. It's called squirting. Let's just get that. <laughs> it's called. <laughs> yeah. You, get, you smoke weed. You get excited. And you fucking squirt a little bit. You're just like, oh, we did so big. It's my yeah. best. It's probably a good strain. What strain was that? I'll have to try I it. I don't fucking know. I, All I know, it was a bong rip, and it caused the pee. It wasn't a squirt. It was a pee. It was an actual oh. legitimate pee. The, w- okay, the one that almost killed me was the Gary Payton, the glove. Oh, the Gary Payton? <laughs> the glove. Yeah. I thought he was going to defend me. From whatever was going to happen. Nobody's going to strip you of all your shit, no, bro. dude. Gary Payton almost had me running butt naked. But I would have fit right in in that area of Tacoma. <laughs> 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 yeah, there was recently just a butt naked guy slamming on people's heads in the street in Tacoma. Was it Roger? No. Oh, okay, cool. I'd my wi- my wiener's not big enough for me to show out in public. Neither was this guy. I don't think he knew his wiener was out, <laughs> so, technically. He had some wiener stuff going on. Yeah. Why I mean, was he doing that? Was he on the dope? I think he was on the dope. Damn. I think he smoked a joint lace with PCP or something. Oh, yo, he was getting butt naked. That's what happened. Yeah. And or Molly. It could be Molly. I've gotten naked on Molly before. Who uh, doesn't get naked on Molly? In Northern California, we call PCP. It's called Lanyo or uh, Blast. It's called Blast. Oh, Blast. Mm-hmm. I like Blast personally because, oh, no. They're coming right for us. Somebody's got something to say. <sighs> so, and I cut. They're like, oh, dude, what's the matter with that guy? Oh, he's all blasted. He <laughs> yeah, he's blasted. all blasted. Up, baby. He's blasted. Well, where are these guys from? Needles, California? Jesus Christ. Well, these wow. guys, I know. They're from 1998. Did you hear those mufflers? Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe that people actually pay money to make their mufflers sound like shit? There's, that was three in a row. That was three in a row. Three in a row. They're I a think I heard muffler a gang. They are. <laughs> They're stealing Cadillac converters as we speak. <laughs> That's where they just came from. They just got another Cadillac converter. Yep, yep. So, uh, Allison, you are you you are incapable of being on a dope show because of your religious beliefs on marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> when are we going to convert you to the green side? That's your word, not mine. I know. Um. It's not religious beliefs. It's literally bodily fluid issue. I don't want to pee on stage. I don't pee want it. Pee on stage. Pee on stage. Even if it Although that might be the thing that gets me famous. I was going to say, even if it meant that you become famous after it. Okay. If it was guaranteed that oh, I would become guarantee? famous. If you could guarantee me that me peeing on stage would make me famous, then I would maybe smoke weed. I can't even stage. guarantee that Roger's going to get paid for being on the dope show. <laughs> <laughs> I can't guarantee. With all the free tickets you gave away. Yeah, probably, exactly. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. This thing's in shambles. <laughs> Wait, is that the recording? That is the video, yes. Oh, it needs to be higher up. Why? My angles. 
It's it's boob level. You're fine. It's yeah. capturing your pure essence. Hell yeah. It's right at the perfect. Goddamn right. It's at the right uh, level. Yeah. If you were taller, it would be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just be hugging you all the time with my face right there in the place. So mine, 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 mine. I'd be like Daffy Duck. Mine, 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 mine. <laughs> so, Roger, your first time smoking weed was in 1989, right? <laughs> 1989. Yeah. No, I think... <laughs> I was hoping that his first time smoking weed was 89. Oh, that's funny. So that way I could be like, oh, he's been smoking weed since the 80s. That's funny. Since the, no, 97? 97. I was a senior in high school. Uh, and we got some uh, Mexican weed. I don't know if that's politically correct anymore. If it's from Mexico, it's politically correct. Yes. Mexican, and like, you're Mexican, so you can say it. I can say yeah. it. Seed stems. Uh, Ooh, I th- kind of got high. I don't know. But then my little brother's sister's dad smoked. Every day, and he had chronic, and uh, he got me high, and I was I was like, holy shit! I was like, oh my god! You but were I liked it. To the good shit. I li- I liked it. I was a I was an everyday not everyday smoker, but I would smoke whenever you there got was time to smoke. Yeah, it was good. I would fucking smoke. Nothing bad would happen. I wasn't drinking as much. It was all it was always a positive. But I remember one time, so I I used to work at Safeway in San Jose, California, on Blossom Hill. And they had a park maybe a mile away. And on my lunch break on Saturdays, or if I was working during the day in the summer, I would go to that park, smoke half a doobie, then perfume up, yeah, put some gum in, do. eat my little cheeseburger, as you and do, then go back and work. Hi, where was the cheeseburger from? Uh, most of the time, the McDonald's. They had a McDonald's right there. That's when I was like, you know, 18 and fucking, I didn't gain a pound at all. I could just eat shit all day. And that w- so I'd go there and then I go and then bag groceries for another four hours. You have to be high if you're bagging groceries, bro. Oh, dude, I was good at it. Yeah, I was good. I could still do it. You Tetris that shit? Oh yeah, I'm the best. I'm very impressed with that because I can't do. We that. should have you run the self checkout at Winko for about an hour. Show them what's up. Self checkout is robbery. That's why I always steal the bags. I never. S- they're like, how many bags did you? I was like, none, bitch. None. <laughs> this is my bag. This is my, my bag. Winko what, what bag. What would happen if you got caught? And they were like, I see that you Not have. Not a damn thing. I'm too scared to rob the bags. Unfortunately, what are they gonna do? I don't know, but I'm scared. Fortunately if they call me for out. Roger, uh, Mexican stealing bags have been decriminalized. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> yep. It's 2022. I admit I steal ice on stage today. That was funny. Yeah, that you was were funny. funny tonight. It was incredibly relatable because I do it all the time. I do it. Fucking, it's yeah. frozen water. They don't stop you. They don't stop you. What are they gonna do? You could have said, "I paid for it at the checkout." Yeah, they exactly. They don't bring the ice to the thing. They're like, "Oh, let me get a bag of ice <laughs> yeah. on the way out." Then you just grab it. Nobody. You don't feel anything. guilty though after you can't Fuck stop no. thinking about it like all I night. I do get that rush though. Oh I yeah, the, that, the steely that rush. The steely remember, rush. Remember that one time that we stole that watermelon balloon? Oh yeah, we did. And brought it as a gift uh-huh, to Joe Rogers. That was a rush. That I have not felt in a long time. The rush. Yeah. We should do it again. That's it's how not it watermelon starts. season. That's how it starts. Yeah. We'll now we're fucking Bonnie else. and Clyde. Yeah, next thing you know. <laughs> we're on fucking it Jack and pretty Banks. Cool. I see there's a big old billboard with some dude's face. Mark Shetfield. They're on the lookout for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a big, it's a big old digital billboard. Yeah, and it's this dude's that. face for uh, interstate communication of threats. So he's been threatening his old lady, most likely. Oh, that's damn, what I he's get. wanted. Yeah, he's wanted, dude. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he looks like f- uh, somebody that's going to kill his wife. Damn. I watched a lot of Unsolved Mysteries. Did his dad ever come back? No. I, uh... We're doing a show here, lady. Oh, so sorry. I'm I remember the first time I stole something from the Tacoma Mall once. That shit was a rush. And uh, we got caught. And I had something underneath my belt buckle. What? This big roll of tickets. You know, like the coupon, the little tickets that you can rip off, like one at a time. Yeah. I had a huge roll of them under my belt buckle when we got caught stealing shit from JCPenney. And then they took us in the back and they interrogated us and they took all the jewelry that we stole. And they're like, is there anything else on you? And we we're like, nope. And they're like, okay, we're going to search you. And when they went to go search my belt buckle, I sucked in my gut and then it dropped down my jeans to the bottom of my pants and it stayed there the whole time yeah. and I managed to escape with those tickets. Yeah. And you know what those tickets were for? Those were the same tickets that they had in high school for the fucking field day fair so you can just oh, turn yes. in the tickets. That's wild. Yeah, okay, so. I'm not going to say who but my friend, I was talking to him on the way over here and he said, he's all, you know how I'm a weasel, you love this story. He's all, dude, 
I got insurance, I got health insurance, and I got food stamps. I was like, you fucking <laughs> son of a bitch. I was like, I, but I'm, I'm, I'm a, I like getting over on the government. I like that. Because they fucking, they're the worst. But don't get me started. Because you're Mexican. <laughs> this is me, a topic of conversation through this whole podcast. Of We're going <laughs> to edit out every time we say the word Mexican. We're going to bleep it out. Bleep it out. <laughs> bleep it out. <laughs> Just because it was Yom Kippur the other day doesn't mean you could racially profile me. Just because I steal ice. <laughs> <laughs> I love stealing ice, dude. It's not my fault that my heritage is holidays are very boring i need to take it out on you guys <laughs> we have to set up a camera and wink of him still in ice i'm in i'll still ice yeah. i don't give a fuck i'm into it Hell yeah. you guys oh i saw a baby at winco Ew. <laughs> just a random baby just random walking Ew. in the crosswalk it, it, it was a toddler with curly hair and a diaper Ugh. and it Probably came pooped. from the neighborhood across from winco yeah oh no uh, yeah so all these people were freaking out because the baby's just walking in the parking lot in winco yeah, yeah. almost God. getting hit by cars and shit should get and that baby to something i went into winco babies. i went into winco true High story five. i went into winco <laughs> they fucking ass <laughs> all over the place <laughs> i just got hit with the fucking i went into winco and i told one of the winco employees that I'm, I'm familiar with that oh there was a baby outside just now walking around almost getting hit by cars and they're like again and oh I was like, no. "What?" And they said, "This happened yesterday." I was like, "Oh shit!" Oh, Winko. Yeah. Do you better, better. Uh, check those parents, man. They might or, be dead. Or is, is it Winko or is it Bremerton? Do better. Just. I think it's because the Winko and Silverdale open, so now that we're getting all the, the riffraff. Yeah, riffraff Look, in Bremerton. Fuck, I love Here's saying riffraff. Thing. I know it's a good <laughs> word. <laughs> you do love saying. The mom riffraff. did come get the kid. She picked him up and ran back home with Here's the kid. Here's the solution: people should stop having babies. Stop making. We get it. You're pro-choice. <laughs> <laughs> we get it. This is the woke podcast. I, al- I also <laughs> feel like people should just not make babies. We do have too many human beings in this world, for Way sure. Way too many. Way too many. Why did you say you've never had children of your own and then point it to your boobs? I absolutely love stepchildren, but I cannot imagine having children of my own. It will, and just like, I don't, really, people don't talk about the trauma of women, like, of having a baby and the trauma to the baby. This is very and serious. I may sound yeah, like a serious. dirty vegan right now. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, it's a really traumatic thing. It's a beautiful thing, actually. It's, I mean, it's beautiful. It's very beautiful. But, like, how. I saw it. Have you ever seen once. a real life umbilical cord when it comes out? I really wish it, I had. It looks fucking amazing. I've only seen the ones I've stolen no, from I ate the, the hospital. Placenta. So, <laughs> yeah. It's family tradition. Shut up. <laughs> He's a Viking or some sort. <laughs> yeah, I just go and take the umbilical cords. They're not being used anymore, right? The umbilical cord them. looked like it came from another planet. <laughs> it looked crazy. Like it was all twisted up and had like this really cool blue and had veins in it and shit. It was the like, most high tech sci fi shit I have ever seen. Yeah. And so my my sister, she's gay, and her wife just had a child recently. And Miracle like, baby. A what? <laughs> <laughs> the ones that should have been aborted. Hey, take it easy. We're at guess. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. A baster baby. A baster baby? Oh, my God. And oh, okay. I had to ask those what? ignorant, that like, hetero it? questions well, like that. It, How it, did you get the semen in there? They, Instead of a they dick? used to be called test tube babies in the 80s. Now it's turkey baby. Oh, test mm. tube. Hey, test tube baby. So so what? Rest so the guy the guy the guy comes in a turkey baster and then they use that to yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm I'm not I'm, I don't think I'm that accurate. I think that, yeah, yeah I'm not that accurate. Like, <laughs> 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 it's not a tink, it's not it's not a turkey baster now it's a tincture. Sorry. <laughs> I don't even know what a tincture is. It just sounds fun. I'm sorry. I was trying to explain the turkey baster situation. The guy comes in the thing and then you put it in the baster and then they squeeze it in the vagina canal or whatever How it's called. How long does the sperm survive? It seems like three extra steps. The birth canal. Thank you. And the then the, the egg canal? gets infected with the semen infected? and creates infected. a horrible baby child. Infected with the demon seed. Ugh. That's going to mess up traffic. That's what it is. <laughs> this whole time I didn't know and that this is how turkey And then someone shits out a baby work. and it's horrible. I thought you just put juice on the turkey. For the rest of your life. But apparently they're putting it up there. Who has? <laughs> <laughs> and making the 
who people. Came f- who came first, the turkey baster or the... <laughs> hey, thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. Hey, try hey. <laughs> tip the veal. Try the waste staff. Bad Mary Stafford they, has entered the chat. No, they have drugs, so you don't have to feel any of it. By choice. You can just opt for the drugs when like any normal into a lady sane podcast? person, and you don't feel any of it. My ex was in more pain than me <laughs> you because her out, I out, leaned out, into his chest, and I'm so short. He had to squat while I was leaning into his chest, and at that point, he exuded the biggest hemorrhoid that he has ever had because he was squatting. He did. He did. He hemorrhoided. I got the epidural. And then they had to bring a donut in. We were for talking him about shows, on, right? Because he was having this big hemorrhoid, <laughs> and I couldn't feel anything. Slightly so off the rails. It's like an episode of The View. It was, you know, yeah. a little bit of, of sensitivity, <laughs> but you know, you you wouldn't have wanted to drop a dollar on the floor because neither one Am of I us right, would be able to pick it up. <laughs> but you know, he he was in more pain than me. So just get the drugs. I don't. Drugs. I don't think that's true. Yeah, I don't think there I. There are drugs, everybody. So involved. You don't have to have painful labor. Are they apparently. gonna have babies at the dope show? Did he have to surgically get his hemorrhoid fixed? Right. All the drugs. Does hemorrhoid get drugs. fixed surgically? Everybody's Is that how it works? See, because he was oh, a little yeah. bit. <laughs> you have not, to see he it. was a little bit not there for the labor You're because the of this thing. And so at one point I was like, okay, what is causing this? And he bent over in the bathroom and I looked and I was like, I don't understand what I'm looking at. I was like, your asshole is an Audi. <laughs> <laughs> it should I don't be understand. an Innie. And then I just I took that, that spray that they give you for your, your per, perineum or whatever it's called, your taint. Pineal and gland. I was just like, shh, like, go away, demon. So you fumigated his butt? I fumigated Sprayed his, his, chode. his butt, his, his big, huge hemorrhoid. Howard Stern. But you know what? So, okay, yeah. I'm looking for cures. I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> I think, do I remember? I don't know. <laughs> Preparation Sometimes, age. I think. <laughs> you know. But no, I mean, I guess sure, it is you know. kind of bummed because you still end hurts. up with a baby that you have to take care of. But, and if and if you're an introvert, they don't tell you that you're still introverted to yeah. yep, child. Yeah, we're podcasting. All right. Uh, Anyways. Yeah, so uh, the Give it dope up show. For Mary Stafford, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Mary Stafford. Yeah. Very interesting insight. We are Mary learning Stafford's so much. Hook. I love it. I know. We are <laughs> learning so much about human anatomy. Human anatomy. You guys want to know how dicks work? They go in and no, they f- nobody. And then they leave for a pack of cigarettes and never go home. <laughs> <laughs> That's how a 1970s dick works. God damn right. They <laughs> get Luckily, there's a lot of them around. <laughs> And they never come home because there was no internet and they couldn't find you. You just, like Fight Club said, it's like the motherfucker was setting up franchises. Yeah, back in the day, it was only 24 hours and you were gone. I mean, that's all, that's all they gave you. 24 hours, come back. What you guys don't understand is there's lots of them around. So one goes missing, you're like, meh. What, Lincoln Continentals? Those are priceless. Yeah, well, no two dicks are the same, okay? Did you know my that? Uh, ex mother in law. <laughs> they like fingerprints. Like finger <laughs> my ex mother in law once sat me down and said, "Once you've seen you had one, a husband? yeah, Jesus Christ, I know. I'm out of here. Total We're learning horror. so much. Hey, take podcast. it easy. The yes, yes, yeah. She's great. Allison, I want to hear your story. You, uh, oh, uh, she sat me down once and she said, once you've seen one dick, you've seen them all. And I said, that is not true because thank you. your son has a tiny dick. <laughs> oh, that's rough. And Have a little one? Sorry, oh. lady. And uh, I've never seen one smaller, so they're not the same. <laughs> so they're not the same. I've, I've seen, seen huge lot. ones. I've seen the small ones. I see them every day at the gym. Yeah. I've seen I mean, them every day. Yeah, those aren't ones to brag about, but. I'm, I'm hoping for that one day. I Let see, me know you see one outside the gym. I see, no, I never see him outside the gym. Never. When I see a no. Only, well, I haven't watched porno in a long time. What? Because I have a lady. Oh shit! I don't need it. He found a replacement for the pornos. <laughs> yeah, I do. I, seriously, I haven't watched porno. Damn, Allison, you've replaced since porn? I got back. Damn, that's, that's impressive. That's crazy. Well, just because I'm old and I can only function yeah. once in a 24-hour Well, I told period. you, at this age, I tell it's you. It's either this porno age, or the lady, and I choose the lady. Yeah. I appreciate that. At yeah. this age, you have to manage your nuts. Okay? Yeah. You can't just nut willy-nilly left yeah. and right. Nut management. Like back in yet I used 40s, to, I used it's all to about do, nut management. I used to do uh, like uh, something about Mary. I would do it before I went oh, out. Oh, yeah, before on a date. You get that mind. Spray it in your hair. And I do do right? it before shows. Like if I'm working a weekend somewhere. 
I, 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 ha- sense. I have you to rub release, one out. Yeah. And I clear every, everything's clear. Yeah. And I'm ready to go. Yeah. So well, I do it at least twice a day. At a least. No, I don't have a wiener. I have a vagina. I'm a lady. God damn it. You guys never get tired. <laughs> no, we have an it's amazing, amazing. No, it's amazing how they can do it twice a day, but we can't do it like once a year. <laughs> 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 or is that just me? Hashtag blessed for the ladies. Blessed. <laughs> I know, Roy. I know the way around. Uh. <laughs> um, Doug Baldwin, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> Doug Baldwin. He's here. What yeah. is the theme of this podcast? I'm oh, so Oh, yeah. Confused. So the, the point of this podcast yeah. was to actually talk about the dope show coming up oh. at the Roxy Theater. Who's on the show? Uh, you, Levi Manis, Vanessa Don, and Timmy Booth. Oh, Vanessa going to be there? Yeah. That oh, sounds like a Vanessa. good show. I love Vanessa, it's too. It's going to be a great Wait, who's show. the other person? Timmy Booth. Timmy Booth. I don't know that guy. Yeah, he's great. Levi. Levi. We all love Levi. Dude, yeah. I was talking to Levi when we were... Yeah. He he randomly showed up here uh, on a Friday to do the open mic. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, dude, before the apocalypse, he was getting some headway in L.A. because the he was doing Kill Tony a lot. Yeah. And his jokes are perfect for that yep. format. Boom, he was doing it, and he goes, I was like, dude, you were getting – you were." You were starting to get a fucking roll. And he's like, yeah, and then the stupid pandemic happened. I was like, it's apocalypse. Call it what it is. <laughs> Call it what it is. And I was like, oh, that's, dude. I was like, fuck. There was a couple comics I felt bad for because they just had bookings. Like right there. Just right bookings. The they were almost there. The fucking, oh, dude. I yeah. had shit. So I was like, fuck, I'll stay home. <laughs> yeah. Like, fuck, I'll take a year or two off. Yeah. So oh, the well, dope show. The dope show. Saturday, October 22nd at the Roxy Theater. Great lineup. Doors at 7, show at 8. Can we announce what we're doing, too? Yeah, what are we doing? You got shows coming up? You want to give them? No, fucking. We got a, sh- we got a room in Seattle. Yes, yes. Temple Billiards. The Pharmacy. November 10th. It's a fucking Doors Thursday. at 7, show at 8. It's going to be awesome. We're bringing comedy back to Pioneer Square because that's where I started. My home club was a comedy on the ground in Pioneer Square. They offered me that room 15 years ago. They said, hey, why don't you do some comedy down there? I was like, I can't. My club's down the street. If I, if I do that, then I can't work there. They're like, oh, well, it's here. And now you're a free, J- free agent. You can free do whatever agent. you want. I'm fucking, yeah. Oh, it's the best, dude. The best. I'm fuck- and the room? Tell them about the room. It's beautiful, man. They got all loungy feel and vibe to it. Beautiful lighting, like couches and shit. You can definitely do some mushrooms and watch a comedy show and feel super comfortable. Goddamn there. right. And Joe so, will sell them to you. Yes, I will have them on deck ready to go. Is that perfectly legal in the No, state? we can't. I have to edit that. Okay. Yeah, it's legal. There will not be that going on. No, he's just selling you a bunch yeah. of shiitakes from his garden. Yeah, we're talking about um, portobello shiitake. mushrooms on the pizza. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. What about a portobello mushroom pizza if it's big enough? Fuck yeah, dude. Just get, get a big ass portobello mushroom turn it into a I pizza. I made a cauliflower a pizza one time. Why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. It's not bad. What was the name of that gal that was working there? Which one? At the billiards. Oh, fuck. I forgot I her name. That's Rose's daughter. She, yeah, she up. has a cool name. I just, and I said I wasn't going to forget it. Yeah. Remember, oh. I was like, oh, are your parents artists? And she's like, no. One's a bartender and one's another I, a lady. I, I never met Rose's wife. I only met cousin Ed works downstairs and that's uh, Rose's cousin. Okay. And they're from they're from California, so I just kind of connected with those guys. They're cool. Nice, nice. Yeah. So cool. yeah, we're doing that, and we're gonna book a couple shows and see how it goes and see if we sell some tickets. But I didn't get my headliner that I wanted. But I got some information that the last stand up show that he did, he was just painting on stage. Oh, really? And he didn't tell jokes. Oh, ooh, yeah. yeah. Wrong it, crowd for that. Yeah, so might be a good thing. <laughs> COVID did not do well for everybody. When everybody's mental health? No. Yeah, some people did not survive. I mean, yeah. they survived physically, but... But mentally, yeah. There's yeah. a lot of... Uh, I can't... What, what can't we say? We can't say... Ment- Just their mental health is not... All the way intact. Yeah. Is that fair to say? Yeah. There's like I think the the term is uh, there's a couple marbles missing up there. I oh think. yeah, it's a few a few. Uh, is that old Barton I used to work with. He's a few bills shy of a full load. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's an old <laughs> reference, right? Yeah. Another old one. Uh, uh, the guy's crazier than a shit house rat. No, there was one about Crayola crayons. You remember? 
Oh, he's a few colors short of a oh, what was full it? pack. I, that comes to mind. There was one about crayons. He's a I few. Can't I don't remember it. I don't know. No dead air. Come on. Uh, I can't think of it. Sorry. <laughs> it's like when you listen to a podcast and you're constantly like, they're talking about something and they can't remember yeah. it. And, and you're screaming at it like, what the fuck? It's the easiest <laughs> shit <laughs> in the history of shit. Yeah. Something about two shades short of a fucking, I don't know. I give up. I'm going to Google it later. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so the Dope Show coming up at the Historic Roxy Theater, Saturday, October 22nd. Roger Head is going to be headlining it. Ah. And uh, it's going to be his final time at the Dope Show. He's going to retire. He's going to do the Brady retirement. I'm going to uh, walk off. Walk off with the championship. Walk off with the championship and then come back and then get divorced. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to be. From a high nose? <laughs> it's going to be a good time. See you there. Love you. Good yeah. night. Woo! Good night.